Hey there, Riley Car Guy here for another Fast Friday on removing the grill from your Mustang GT. If you're new to the channel and you're unfamiliar with Fast Friday, uh, Fast Fridays are effectively short videos targeting very specific jobs on cars. In this case, it's just removing the grill on the Mustang. Uh, you could want your grill off for a variety of reasons, maybe to repaint the emblem, maybe to paint the grill or just replace it. For me, I'm gonna put a smoke film on my fog lights, so that's why I'm taking mine off today. Uh, for the sake of speed, let's get right to it. To get to the top of the grill, we wanna take off our radiator cover. Uh, it's just a plastic cover here with six body clips and uh, I'm also going to remove the two uh, bolts here on the top of the bumper just so you can kind of pull it off and get a little bit more room uh, to work behind the grill. So pull these off. I have aftermarket ones. I'm not exactly sure how the original ones were, but for me, I just have like a pin in here that you pull out and then pull the whole piece out. So I'll show you how to do that and then just do those six and then take those two bolts off and we'll move forward. Nice, so once you have those six body panel clips removed, uh, you can just kind of lift up the back here and slide it out of this groove in the grill and set it aside. Now the grill is held in, uh, well, not held in very well, but it's held in by, uh, it looks like, well, just clips, really. So there's two clips on each side, and it looks like there's four, looks like there's four on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'll show you how to remove the clips with ones that we can easily view and that'll be the ones basically on the top on both sides here and then we'll kind of have to get creative uh, well get creative with the rest of them so let's move on to those and I'll show you how to take those off so here's what we're dealing with we have uh, effectively just a clip that pushes through this little section here and if you look from the back you'll see that there's another tab kind of holding this one in place so the motion that we're going to want to do is kind of get this tab to fold one way or the other so that would be you know, the direction towards the grill or towards the car itself. And then just lift the tab and kind of wedge it through there. There we go. Just like that. So now this one is loose. So uh, that's obviously the easiest one because it's right up here and it's, it's available and easily accessible. But the one a little bit lower, we're probably going to have to get a long screwdriver if you have one uh, to kind of push that tab back without, of course, being able to use your fingers. Also, one of the reasons that I took this screw out is that if you just lift this up, it will also push out as well. So the whole front of the grill will kind of pivot like this, and that way it'll give you a little bit more room to work. Just be careful on these pieces because this is attached to your front bumper cover uh, down here at the bottom, and uh, if you put too much pressure on it, you may, uh, well, you may crack it or mess up your paint or something like that, so just be careful there. Once you have those two out, you'll see that the grill is starting to pivot forward, which is exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and accomplish the other side, and then we can start tackling the clips on the bottom. Okay, so on the bright side, it looks like um, even with my bare-sized paws, uh, I can get my hand back behind here, and you can reach the other tabs. And so there is one tab behind each fog light, and then it looks like there's another two in the center. So what you need to do is, if, is just go in, go back there with your finger, lift up on the tab, and then kind of start working it out gently uh, by pulling up and away on the grill. Woo! For whatever reason, when I got the, the second one out, so I pulled this one out and this one out, when I pulled that one out, I guess I was pulling hard enough that the other two just kind of popped right out. Um, they, don't look, they don't look damaged, so that's pretty cool. Um, one thing, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing I should probably be protecting the front bumper cover, which uh, I didn't do, but if you uh, saw this car in real life and saw how, uh, how the paint was, you wouldn't be worried if you were me either. So, now that this is uh, loose, we just want to fold this forward, and we just want to take out our two connectors for our fog lights. So these are just classic, you know, regular electrical connectors. 
you just push down on the tab, pull it off, and boom, our grill has been removed. One last thing, and you'll hear me harp on this a lot, but when you're removing parts like this from your car, this is an excellent opportunity to do some cleaning. So just wipe all this down, get it clean. Like right here, you see a bunch of wax residue where uh, obviously they waxed it and then couldn't get, uh, couldn't get the rest of it off. So come through here, wipe it all out, make it all nice and clean, and you'll know, even though people don't really see it, you'll know deep down in your heart that your car is nice and beautiful and clean, even under the grill. So if you were here just to watch and learn how to take off the grill, then that's of course fine. Um, have an excellent remainder of your day and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. However, if you wanna keep watching, I'm gonna smoke these lenses. So uh, to get these off, we can just take a, what is this, a T25 bit and just unscrew the four screws holding both of these in. Nice. When that's done, just uh, set this aside uh, and take this opportunity to clean it, of course. All right, so this wasn't supposed to come out so easily, but it looks like they're just pressure fitted anyways. So if we just kind of, what is it, push on this one? Yeah, there we go. It does pop right off nice and easy. So I just took that bracket off for basically ease of use. I'm also gonna remove my uh, actual bulbs and so I'm just gonna do that only because they're kind of fragile. You don't really wanna be jostling them around. So I'm just gonna take those off and uh, gently set them aside. There we go. And now we have just our regular good old lens for our lights. You wanna grab your uh, tint film. So we have this, I just got this from, uh, what is this, Vivid Dark Black. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of this. I bought this to do um, this kind of stuff, so small work. I think this was under 20 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below if you do want to pick this up. But um, I got extra dark because I'm not doing the headlights, I'm just doing the fog lights um, to try to reduce how bright the front end is. So set that aside. We want to clean these. Uh, you want to prep them. I'm just going to do like a Windex and then I'm going to do an isopropyl just to get the whatever residue the Windex got off. So Windex to do the bulk of the work and then I'm going to prep them with alcohol. All right, so we have two very clean lenses. Next, I'm gonna take my film and just kind of roll it out and cut it roughly to the shape of the lens. Uh, for both of them, obviously do it twice and get that prepped. I'm also gonna grab a blade for kind of doing our finishing touches. Awesome, a pretty quick and dirty cut but uh, I have it roughly to the shape of my lens. Now this might be a bit of a controversial method, but um, unlike a lot of tint film uh, people that you see on YouTube, a lot of them like to use liquid so you can kind of get everything in place and it helps get rid of bubbles. On a surface area this small, um, I don't feel the need to use liquid. Um, I've done it multiple times on small surface areas and this is more than enough uh, space to be workable, but not too big, that you're gonna have to work giant bubbles out of it. So, um, if you remember back in the day, um, 90s kids will get it, but if you had a phone in, say, like the early 2000s, or maybe 2010s, it would be, um, well, you would have to have those plastic screen covers. Remember when phone screen covers weren't glass, and they were actually kind of almost like a vinyl wrap? Uh, well, you didn't need liquid for those. So, uh, same method here. So we're just basically gonna take this, take this backing off and uh, start to lay it and then just kind of run our finger in this type of motion across the lens until it's, uh, well, until it's on. So just make sure that you have enough room on all sides. We're gonna eventually take, I have a heat gun, but you can use, of course, a, a hair dryer or something. We're gonna get this off in the sides and then pull them over the edge uh, once we get to the edges. So here we go. Just pull back our film. Don't pull it all the way off or else it's gonna be difficult to work with. You just want to uh, pull just enough off to get started. So I'm gonna give myself enough room on all sides here. There we go. And then just start working your thumb gently. If you want liquid on this side for the, for the sake of friction on your finger, that's fine. Um, but I don't feel like it's necessary on the inside. So let's just keep going here. 
We'll see as we go. Pull more away. Cool, we're more than halfway done already. Excellent, so far, check it out. Not a single little bubble. So check that out. Very quick, very easy. No muss, no fuss, no liquid. So, what we're gonna do is I'm going to, one little section at a time, I'm gonna heat up here, and then I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, and then pull it over and fold it, all right? So, um, actually for this, we're gonna wanna trim off some of the big pieces here. So let's just kinda poke that. Watch your fingers, there you go. Excellent. So here we have it, grab your heat gun. I'm gonna go on a very low setting because this stuff is fragile. You really don't want to uh, go crazy on heat here. So hold it far away from it, because if you, especially if you're using a heat gun, these get really hot really fast. And then hold it away, and then kind of work closer. So moving closer, the more heat you need, and then pull away for it to be, um, of course, cooler. All right, so I'm starting with that section. That's all we needed. It's nice and soft. Just pull and squeeze over the edge. Nice. So what we're looking for is a very clean edge. Hopefully you can see that. How about right here? There you go. So nice clean edge. And then we're just gonna kind of gently pull it all the way around. And then basically we're just gonna trim the rest off, all the excess when we're done. Excellent. So there you have it. We have it wrapped, we have it uh, pulled over the edges, and now I'm just gonna go and trim on this outer edge. So basically the bottom edge, if you're looking, if this is the top, the bottom edge here, I'm just gonna slowly uh, go work around there, grab a blade, drag it all the way around, and then this one's done. Awesome, that's it. So once you trim it and all your edges look good, that guy is smoked and ready to go. So when you're done, you just uh, take this, take your ball, slap it back in here, however that goes in. Help me, there we go, perfect. And then uh, of course just do it to the other side and then snap it back in place. So that's it. Um, I've only been at this, I don't know, an hour and a half total, including the grill. So this is a pretty quick job. And I was shooting video for you guys. So I'd say maybe an hour to go in, take the grill off, smoke your lenses, and slap it all back together. I just love the way that these lenses look on my car. I thought that the original fog lights were way too bright. It felt like having two sets of headlights. I'm not a huge fan of that. So definitely an improved look for the Mustang. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Subscribe for more videos like this. Make sure you like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.